hi guys it's Kobe here and in this video this is actually going to be my third video in the cinema 4d MoGraph menu object so in today's video we are going to talk about the fracture and the fracture object what it does is it takes non MoGraph objects and make them give them ability to be affected by the MoGraph effectors and act like an a MoGraph object so to explain it I've created my fracture and in here I have this object I've created in the doll already so I have sets of objects here and I can simply as it stands it's just normal object which is grouped in the null and it can be affected by any effector if I say I want to add randomness or anything it can be affected directly like this so to for it to be affected I had to make it a child the normal usual clone parameters and the parametric object and all that I have to make it a child of the fracture object so I'll drag and drop it under the fracture object I mean all of them so I'll go ahead and select the rest and I'll drag and drop it under the fracture objects I can go ahead and delete the null because I don't need it and now if I should add, add uh, my random effect I go to effector and add like let's say random you can see now it begins to affect it like it would do to like let's say a clone or any other MoGraph um, object so that's basically what the fracture object does now when you select the fracture object and you go down to its attribute manager when you go to the object menu you can see we have mode the only thing there is mode so we have three modes straight explode and explode and connect so I'll go ahead and ex explain the straight is straightforward so every object will be seen as one object on its own doesn't matter you see some are in null but because they are grouped they will all be seen as one object so the randomness will affect it all of them individually like it is in under the fracture object but if you go to but if you change it to explode explode segments now you can see the candles um the elements in the candles are all have all exploded and now they are all acting separately on separately on their own so now it's not acting as one object like it used to. So that's basically what the exclude does. Let me add random rotation to it. And you can see it has it's every all of them has their own rotation. Even though they are under one null object, they explode and act separately on their own. Now the next one is explode and connect. And that one works separately. With that one, I'll actually demonstrate it using a different set of ob um, objects for us to understand. So I'll hide this for now then i'll come in here i'll create like let's say a normal cube right i'll reduce the size a bit so that it don't i'll make a normal cube and i'll change the first thing is i'll see separate faces so all of the faces are separated then i'll go ahead and create several copies so let's see i'll hold Control, drag, control, drag, control, drag. I want to create these copies for us to see the example. So I'll select all of them and now make it editable. In fact, make sure all everything is selected again. Make sure all the children everything so what i was doing is i i select i use the middle mouse button to click this and it will actually go ahead and select all the children as well so, and i hold shift to select the rest using the middle mouse button so all the children and everything is selected the next thing is i come to object and i'll say connect objects plus delete so we'll make it one object so you can see we have five cubes here which are separate faces right so i'll go ahead and create my fracture object again and now make it a child of the fracture object so now let's see what's happening let's first of all disable the fracture and come to um polygon mode and you can see if i select the face of this one i can move it and the same face is separate right that's basically what we are trying to do so i'll enable the fracture object again back and now if i should use the random effector so i'll go ahead come to effectors and I'll drag in my random effector and you can see it's affecting it because it's set to 
straight so it's affecting it you just see it as one object so it's affecting it now let's go to explode and you can see it explodes the faces because they are separate faces it's not one object but now this way you see what the um, explode and connect if we see explode and connect you can see now it's seeing each cube as one object but it's exploding them separately from as, as in the five cubes right so that's what the explode segment and connect basically does so it sort of explode the objects in groups right so every uh, play faces in group will be exploded separately from the other so th basically that's all about um the more um, the fracture object the next thing is um, i'll come to it transform and it has similar attributes as in the um clone object video i explained so we have weights you can control the weight uh, randomize it uv color and all those um basic things and you can see it index as well it gives it index as well the next is where you add your effectors and everything and it has its separate transformation so you can now rotate them separately all of that so basically that's all about the fracture object it basically takes non more graph element and gives you the ability to affect them with more graph effectors and all that thank you for watching and see you in the next one